Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, despite the chill early tomorrow morning, temperatures are actually going to rebound very nicely by the afternoon. And this time of year, it's not unusual to warm up 20, 25 degrees from sunrise to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. That's pretty much the big temperature swing we have coming up on Friday. Clear skies, very cool in Newport. Many areas are in the lower to middle 50s. A few locations already getting a head start and dropping into the 40s. Clear, quiet, and cool in Providence right now. The city is milder in the mid 50s, but there are a few outlying areas that have already dropped into the 40s. Briefly getting up into the mid 60s this afternoon. Temperatures now. Have been falling steadily uh, in the upper 40s to lower 50s. Three ingredients at night allow the temperature to fall rapidly uh, dry air, clear skies, and light winds. And we have all three, and that allows the temperature to tumble, and it'll do so now through about 5, 6 o'clock in the morning. So that colder night ahead, we are dry through Saturday. And I'll tell you what, even the daylight hours of Sunday, despite the chance for showers on Sunday, the daytime looks dry. We're going to bring in the showers now for Sunday night. So this would potentially impact the Patriots game. It's a late kickoff around 8.30, and more than likely some light precipitation for the game. But the daytime uh, looks dry on Sunday and mild, too. Not much going on across. Across the northeast, you got a few showers that are clipping the uh, the outer cape right now. But generally, the northeast is quiet. You can see the shades of green and blue across the northeast and southeastern Canada. This is where the autumn chill is located for the next uh, roughly 12 to 18 hours. Tropics remain active. Look at that well-defined eye of the Category 4 Hurricane Sam. Bahamas and South Florida back here. The storm is moving northwest. Winds of 145 miles per hour. It's been a strong storm for several days now, and another one a weaker one. Behind that, Victor is a tropical storm out in the eastern Atlantic. Both storms anticipated, including Sam, to curve back out into the uh, central and north Atlantic, well away from the U.S. East Coast, passing a good 800 miles offshore. But even a track that far offshore, some swells and surf and rip currents will make it to our beaches by the weekend, so be mindful of that. We'll get in real close. Showers near the Cape will be moving offshore. We take a look at the forecast hour by hour and watch the temperatures tumble overnight towards day break tomorrow, generally 40 to 45, but a few areas getting to the upper 30s. As chilly as it is at 6 in the morning, watch what happens with all day sunshine and watch the temperatures jump up mid to upper 60s. I mean, just a beautiful afternoon, mild, dry, and comfortable. Your Friday evening, Friday night looks good. Another cool night, like a light jacket, light sweater kind of a deal, but at least it's clear and dry with temperatures back in the 50s. Now, at sunrise tomorrow morning, it's in the 40s, but then rising through the 50s to eventually mid and upper 60s. Lots of sunshine, uh, dry air, light winds, real nice. Uh, not northwest breeze, anywhere from about 5 to 10, 15 miles per hour. All right, seven day forecast looking good on Saturday. We'll keep Sunday. Uh, day dry, bringing some showers on Sunday night, sets the stage for unsettled weather both uh, Monday and Tuesday. So overall, the weekend, three quarters of it looks dry. Uh, potential for some rain showers for the, I hear there's a game in Foxborough on Sunday night. I mean, Is there? I don't think it's a big deal. Yeah, a little one, so <laughs> check back with us. Will rain help us or hurt us? What do we think? I feel like Tom usually plays really well in crappy weather. He okay. plays really well every week. This is true. Pretty much. <laughs> Let's keep our fingers crossed. Let's hope he has an off week. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Johnny.